All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Phoenix Industries Boosters mod, which is being made by forum user CTN. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a small pack of boosters for you to add to your ships. And I mean, come on folks, who doesn't like themselves a good SRB? So let's just jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what this mod does have to offer us. Now let's actually uh, grab a PPD-12, just for a change of pace from our usual Mark 1-2, and then head to the search bar and type Phoenix Industries so we have all the parts in one place here. Now as you can see, it is only four different boosters. Like I said, it is a small pack, but a small pack that, well, packs quite a bit of oomph. And the first part we're going to actually have a look at is kind of an oddity. Now I say that because this is a solid rocket booster. This is a solid rocket booster. This one too is a solid rocket booster. Uh, but this one on the other hand is a radial fuel tank. The PIFL 900 block is, if we put it on here, just what I said, a radial fuel tank that goes on the outside of your ship. So you may be wondering, well, why in the heck is that in a pack of boosters? And that is because it is based off of the booster tanks for the Soyuz FG. And if we do look at the bottom of this, it has, if we just grab this tiny little booster here, a lovely attachment point for you to put an engine right at the bottom to then be powered by the liquid fuel and oxidizer in this tank and bam it's now a booster just using liquid fuel rather than solid and it's quite a nice little addition I do like the idea when I first saw it I thought it was strange but you know being based off the Soyuz FG I think it definitely fits into the mod as a whole and is a lovely little addition now as for the amount of fuel it does have it'll hold to 468 liquid fuel and 572 oxidizer. Now one thing I'm a little bit disappointed in with it is that it doesn't have a built-in uh, decoupler. I would have loved to have seen that personally. Uh, so you'll just have to add that in yourself, which I mean isn't too difficult. But for convenience sake, I would have loved to see that. Now as for the next part we're going to look at here, since I already did kind of grab one right there, but let's grab one where we can see it just a little bit better better and uh yeah this is the pis 25 nudge solid fuel booster which has a maximum thrust in vacuum of 40 kilonewtons will use up its solid fuel at a rate of 3.021 per second and only has 30 solid fuel in total if we zoom in on this lovely little thing yeah so it's not exactly the most powerful thing in the world i mean really only beating out the separatron for power frankly but it is quite a useful little srb for um as the mod maker suggests, as a payload assist, and as the name would suggest, as an engine just to nudge something in the right direction that you need it to be in. And so it is very useful. Personally, I have a tendency to use this thing for launching satellites and different other bits of cargo when it's in orbit already and I just want it to get away from my main ship. And yeah, it's a beautiful little tiny booster for you to use however you might desire. Now the next part we have is the PISEM 24 Sidekick Solid Booster. And this one, if we pop it on there, another fairly small booster, but also not exactly tiny either. And this is a very fun one with uh, 100 uh, kilonewtons of thrust in atmosphere, roughly 120 in vacuum. It will use up its solid fuel at a rate of 9.323 per second, but does hold a fairly decent amount at 400. So this thing will actually burn for quite some time in here. And uh, you'll notice that the nozzle down there is actually sort of kicked out, thus the name Sidekick, so the thrust is going to be going out at an angle, so you are going to want to make sure that you've got this uh, nicely placed in some sort of symmetry so that it doesn't knock you off course. And yeah, it's a lovely little booster. I do really quite like this thing, and it's uh, really useful for that as well. It says right here, a little bit more oomph in lower atmosphere, and also just quite nice for, uh, I've used it before on uh, getting landers 
off of other planets works fine for that and just any other use where you need a booster roughly this size and power now the final one oh boy we're gonna have to zoom out okay there we go is the PIAS one more solid fuel booster which oh, oh, bo oh god I didn't zoom out far enough okay hold on a moment there we go, we are zoomed out literally as far as the VAB will allow us, and this baby has a maximum thrust in vacuum of 2,000. In atmosphere though, 1681, oh boy, that's a lot, and will burn solid fuel at a rate of 123.6 per second, but it does hold 6,000. So again, this one's gonna burn for quite some time. It is not a slow burner. It will go for uh, a fairly decent amount and will provide you a whole heck of a lot of power. This is a very, very big, very powerful rocket that well, should pretty much help you get anything you need into orbit. If you can't get something into orbit with this baby, you are doing it wrong, my friends. But that is uh, the four different engines, though, or, or boosters, rather, that we do have. So let's actually go and take a look at them out on the uh, launch pad there with a monstrosity of a test craft that I made just before starting the episode, which, I mean... Do I really have to call it a monstrosity at this point? Pretty much all of my demonstration pieces are monstrosities because they purely are for the purpose of demonstration. But this is a fun little one here. We've got this. Oh, oh God, it's, oh, it's moving. It shouldn't be moving there. Oh, that's going to be interesting. That's probably going to fly off, but oh, well, it'll be entertaining. So the first uh, stage that we do have is our, uh, you know, our, our liquid fuel booster here based on the Soyuz again, where I've just got an LV-909 Terrier engine at the bottom that we can throttle up. And there we go. It fires away to do its job as a radial fuel tank and a booster so very fun very convenient to have now let's just uh turn do that's not what i wanted to do at all oh i'm hitting buttons in the wrong order okay we'll just throttle that thing down and we'll start up our next stage which is our lovely tiny little nudge solid fuel booster here and if we just set off that there we go, a lovely burn, pretty good smoke, frankly, for such a tiny little engine. But it's got a good flame to it, and there it goes, it is now off. Again, it is just a very tiny little thing meant for, well, nudging stuff. Let's actually turn up the UI, we really don't need it, because I actually do have these in proper order for a change. And then the next in line is the sidekick here, if we do fire that. As you can see, the thrust going off at an angle in that direction, a much larger flame, a lot less sound, frankly, than I would have thought would be coming from this, but overall, a good solid rocket booster, producing, well, again, a fair amount of smoke, though not quite as much smoke as the nudge. Hmm, intriguing. And that, oh boy, that's going to go for a while, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there, it's, it's under half, though. So let's wait, just wait for it to burn out so you can get an idea of the timing on this thing. And it's about less than a quarter. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And... Almost done. Ten more. There we go, it's done. <laughs> So that is how long that is going to burn. Very fun little uh, rocket booster there. Very useful for many different types of ships. And then finally, we have the more. Oh boy, let's hope this doesn't fly off. I'm a little worried. That should really be attached right there. But, uh, oh well, c'est la vie. My god, it's holding. There we go, though. It is trying to wiggle itself loose. And that's just, just hilarious. Okay, so this is going to burn for a very long time. It's already down to 4,000 fuel. But that's... I mean, for such a big solid rocket booster, you'd really expect... I don't know. It just seems like a lot of the solid rocket boosters you get from mods, and even in the base game, they burn very, very hard, very, very quick. Whereas this is a bit more of a slow burn on it, which I personally do enjoy. You get a lot of good impulse and thrust to help get you into atmosphere. It's just a useful thing. I mean, come on. It's gigantic, and who doesn't love that? And it is almost out. And 
there we go. It's kind of wobbling about there. Lovely. But yeah, that is Phoenix Industries Boosters. Just four simple parts, three of which actually being solid rocket boosters, one being a radial fuel tank slash booster once you've hooked an engine to it. And it's it's a lovely little pack of things that, you know, are, are very, very useful for any type of mission that you are trying to build. I usually have this installed, even though it is just a handful of parts, it's a handful of good quality parts. So if you would like to take a look at these for yourself, which I, of course, would always suggest to do, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. And, of course, if you also would like to help support the channel, you can take a look in the description for a link to my Patreon. Uh, or, of course, at the end slate, there is a link for it there, too. And if you'd like to talk to the community and perhaps suggest some mods for me, as some people have in the Discord, you can join us on our Discord server to have a conversation with other fans, as well as myself, whenever I'm able to get on there. But that is going to be it for today folks i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode when we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one now oh, that didn't explode quite as well as i was hoping i was really hoping that i'd drop it it'd go boom and then it'd fade to black ha <sighs> oh well later folks